guys, how you doing? We're gonna start this video. I'm here in LA, or actually Downey, California, and I'm here at a location at 16135 Avenida Padilla, and this is where an N41 panel is, and for the new 5G for T-Mobile, and we're about to start this video now. Hey guys, how you guys doing? I'm here right now in Downey, 16135 Avenida Padilla. Here's the tower site right here. And we are looking at the Ben N41 panel. It's right there on the right. Let me grab my flashlight, guys. And let me try to shine this up real quick to show you guys what this panel looks like. Guys, let me grab a flashlight right there. There you go, there's your N41, your 71 low band panel, and then you got your mid band panel right there. So it is set it on all three sectors, or yeah, all three sectors have the same configuration. And as you can see, I've already noticed already, guys, I'm gonna shine the light right here. And if you look at that, I think I see fiber, excessive fiber that's looped in a loop around the metal pole. Already a sloppy job in fiber running. Like they ran this fiber very, very sloppy already as it is. Right there, you're already gonna have data loss. Right there. So let's test this and let's see what it's about. Guys, uh, we're gonna open Samsung band selector and we're gonna select the bands right now. And we're gonna test this. So we're gonna do two Four, we're gonna do 12, 41, 46, 48, 66. And, we're, and then we're gonna do NR41. We're not gonna include N71 right now. We'll do a test and then we'll do a test with everything enabled. So right now we have band 20, band 66, 20 megahertz, band N41, which is 60 in this market and then we got band 210 so we got 60 60 120 130 megahertz of spectrum let's see what it does okay we're using the frontier server so we got a 39 ping with a three jitter and we are about 300 feet from the tower We got 225 down. And we got 104 on the upload. All right, let me go further away and do some more testing and then we'll enable the 71 part. Okay guys, the tower is behind the tree over here. We're about 800 feet. Let's do a test. 39 ping, 6 jitter on the Frontier server. Of course, people are going to tell me, why am I not testing on T-Mobile's local server? Well, there's going to be a reason. It's because T-Mobile server is always going to prioritize a T-Mobile connection. So it's always going to show the lowest ping, the lowest jitter, and the best connection possible because it uses a different QCI on the network. Literally, when we're using the speed test app right now, it's giving you a different QCI. No, no uh, data. It doesn't count data towards your deprioritization net, at times of network management caps or nothing. So this is not counting towards the 50. And we got 221 down with a 104 up. And let's see how much spectrum we got. And 66, 20. We got the N41 to 60. And then we got band 210, so, six, so 60, 60, 10 again, 130 megahertz of spectrum, guys. And this is all we're freaking getting. I'm going to walk a little bit more. I'm going to give you guys the best I can. I'm sorry, I have a, right now I'm, I am on Periscope Live too. have a lot of guys in the crew watching this. And they are not looking at this at a world perspective themselves. Just because of the amount of spectrum. 
that is being utilized for this tower site, you would expect they're talking about three, four, five hundred megabits plus. We are not seeing this here. And I am going to give you guys a test real quick. So I walked about another 40, 50 feet, let's say. So I am going to do automatic for you guys just to give you guys that team. Okay, so now it's selected automatically on the Will Need Network server in Los Angeles. 15 ping, 6 jitter. And right now it is 1.08 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Look, we stepped away far from the tower and we dropped from 220 range to 166 on the down. We are still pushing the 102 on the upload. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going. I'm going to keep going a little bit further, and we will continue this. All right, guys, I'm going to do another test. I just walked a little bit more. I was all the way down there. Okay, we are still connected with the same spectrum. We are at RSRP about 71. On the NR side, we're about 76. So let's do another test. And now we have a trees. Of, we have trees obstructing us. So we're doing real life conditions here. Okay, so 14 ping, 7 jitter, 211 down. One hundred and four upload again. So upload staying pretty consistent, but I tried it earlier. I was connected to a site with N71. I was connected to about a hundred upload. I did an eight minute live YouTube live on Streamlabs. It'll, it'll be in the channel and you guys can see that the stream lasted about eight minutes and then it hiccuped and crashed on 1080p. All right, I'm going to try to go further and I'm going to try to go edge cell site and see what happens and then I'll give you guys my conclusion. All right guys, I'm further away from the tower so I'm here and I'm gonna test the Comcast server and here I'm gonna give you guys another look at the connections. 20 megahertz of band 66, 60 NR, 41, and two, band two, 10 megahertz. As you can see the signars, signars are not looking good. I went further away from the tower. They are not looking good at all. All right, let's test this. 23 ping, one jitter. Two hundred and twenty-three on the down, and uh, what happened to our uploads here, guys? Uh oh. Thirty-six point six on the upload. So I'm gonna give you guys a map to show you how far away I am from the tower site. Let's see here. Let's open up maps. Let's put in the address, one, six, one, three, five. How many? I'm point three miles away from the tower and it has tinked this bad. Like quality of upload, sign our levels, just all together as you guys can see. Point, like point three, point four miles. That's where I'm at. Even though it shows it good, the RSRP is still pretty, uh, pretty there. It's the, it's still, it's close to edge site, but regardless, it's not looking good. So 0.5 miles. So that's about what I can get on millimeter wave in Las Vegas, which I can go about 0.6 miles and still get over 1.5 gigs into this video guys is this NR hype of 41 I don't know how they're executing it 
floppy tower uh, job. Um, pings are all over the place. If you use their if you use their server, it will give you the ping times that everybody wants to see. And of course, you already know they prioritize the speed test app to QCI to the highest QCI level and no uh, no caps, no nothing. It doesn't count towards your priority data. So you're getting the full blast on speed test, which is very inaccurate because we have tested this before. We have gotten uploads that exceeded 70. Even I just tested it earlier. I got over 100 and it still tanked the live stream in a matter of minutes. So just because you're getting a 100 megabit upload with T-Mobile does not mean that that is the actual speed. I would love to test what the actual speed is. I wish they would do like what AT&T and Verizon does and they would actually give, we'll count it towards the priority data and put it on the regular QCI of the network, the speed test app. I would like to see what the real tests are with this without giving it special accesses like they do. And this comes to the conclusion of this video, guys. I mean, I'm done with this. I'm going home. I am disappointed. I thought it was going to be a little bit better. You know, people are saying that they're getting four or five hundred gigabit with this. Yeah, right. It ain't happening, Chief. If you guys believe all this, uh, like Snead always says it, I got a bridge for sale in Brooklyn. What's up, man? All right, then, guys. Just remember to comment down below if you guys got any questions. If you guys got any more of these N7, N41 sites, I'm down to go check them out as I travel. You know, any other city, Vegas, wherever. And just remember the Twitter link down below. I got the Instagram, the Facebook. I'm actually starting to get uh, doing more Periscope lives lately. You guys check them out. Uh, PayPal link is down below too. If you guys would consider a small and occasional monetary donation channel, be greatly appreciated. But do not feel forced to, as right now the pandemic is really hurting people. Alright guys, have a good one, and I'll catch you in the next one.